Hey, this is Aaron with Simple Tix, and I just unboxed the new Square Stand uh, version two. This is not the old version one that you've been seeing, I don't know, for six, seven years now. This is the brand new one. It's called Square Stand version two, and um, this is it right here. I just literally took it out of the box just now, and let's take a look at it. So basically, it has this um, this same swivel just like before, um, and it has this kind of like, um, plastic wrap uh, just for shipping purposes. So I'm gonna take it off right now. And on the bottom. All right, so that's what basically it looks like now. And um, I have a brand new um, iPad. It is the correct size, and in the description down below, I'll put the, the sizes that you have. Um, now the weird thing is, is the latest versions of iPads that you would see at Best Buy, they're not actually the same size that the latest version of Square Stand uses. It's kind of a disconnect there. Um, and again, I'll put, I'll put the details in the description below of what you would see at Best Buy and what you what this is compatible with. Um, so I have um, the Event Organizer app installed on this. I'll have a video about that. But right now, I'm going to try and put my iPad into this case. Um, I didn't even bother reading the instruction manual yet. Um, just kind of trying to figure it out here and how to put this guy in. Uh, so basically, um, I'm gonna um, put it in um, power there first and then pull this out. See it kind of squash through just like that. Yeah, it fits right in there. Perfect. Um, so here you can see the iPad. Um, and um, what I'm noticing here is. Um, it has um, the wireless tap and go icon, and it has the chip for the chip reader in there too. Um, let me grab a, um, a chip. So I have here a credit card with a chip, and I basically can just insert it there for a chip payment. And for a contactless credit card, you can tap it, or you can tap your smartphone as well. Um, but anyway, just a little bit of an unboxing demo. Um, so what else, what else do you get in the box here? You get a um, the card reader, and it looks like it's using USB Type C on this one. I'll go ahead and find that um, slot on the back. Where does it go? I guess we're using the hub before. Um, so here's the power cable it comes with. So basically, there's the box with all the goodies. Um, so clip there. And, uh, so I'm that um, this is not your hub that you used to have, you used to have in the older version. Here, and I'll open this guy up as well. Oh, yep, it's a hub just like before. Um, yeah, so basically gives you uh, three USB slots and one USB Type C slot here. So that USB Type C, um, I can plug that in just like this. Um, I'll open this guy up. Oh, this is the power. Got it. This is the power right there. Power cable. It's got a cool rubbery feel to it. Um, it's super thin. It's kind of a modern feel to it, for sure. Um, so plug this guy in. And um, this USB Type C has got to go in here somewhere. Yep, USB Type C goes in right there. So I'll take this, kind of unbuckle these coils just so we can start using it. All right, so this right here is gonna go in here. Um, so it's gonna go in just like this. And basically this will kind of lay over there. Which is gonna really sort of be out of sight almost, right? It's like basically that could be off your couch on the strip floor. Plug this into the wall. One thing I noticed that's really peculiar is um, the power cord doesn't have the ground. Usually it is three, but only, it only has two. It's kind of interesting, but something to, to notice. Maybe if you're in an older building and you don't have grounded um, electric outlets, well, you won't need a converter. So I plugged it in and it immediately says it's being charged right now. Let's explore what this is over here. Um, I have a feeling that this might relate to how it's 
swivels. Yeah, so it looks like this is something related to the plate um, that goes below. So that's it for this box. Don't want any more toys in here. Um, it says, let's get start selling. Let's start selling. Um, let's see what's in this box. It's just more of an introduction guide. Pretty much I didn't bother reading it. Just kind of dove right in as you can see in the video. <laughs> Who needs instruction manuals? Um, but you kind of see um, how it all works. Um, yeah, so basically this is your hub. Um, and in the hub here, you're basically um, going to connect um, USB scanners, but in simple you don't use that. Your printer and your cache drawer all go into the hub. Um, that's really interesting because usually the cash drawer, um, that, that cable doesn't really go into the hub. It's more of an RJ45 jack that connects to the printer normally. This is kind of interesting they're doing it that way. Hey, so this is a square stand version two unboxing video. Um, hope we found it useful. If you find it useful, click that like button down below. That way we know you saw it. And um, yes, yeah, so subscribe to our channel too because we're going to be releasing a lot more videos on how to use this the event organizer app. That's the app where event centers, you know, performing arts centers, um, attractions can sell tickets on site using our app um, on the square stand and print tickets. If you want to print tickets, you can send tickets via text message too. Um, but look out for more content. Bye now.